Back here, Madison Court Dork. Uh, we're looking live here at uh, Courtney as she. Wow, that's. Very I know, good. right? Very good angle, huh? Yes. So, what are we doing, Courtney? What I'm are we about eating? to cut into this uh, honey and garlic roasted pork loin, basically. Mm. So, in other words, it's going to be real effing cool. A lot of good food. Hopefully. 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 Give it a cut. All right. And then I'll give a little discussion on Zinfandel and organic wines. Let's see how this turns out. So this is what she's eating and this is what I'm eating. <laughs> All right, so tonight's uh, experiment, if you will, oh, wow, sounds like MST3K, uh, will be Bonterra Zinfandel and organic Zinfandel. So, um, made with organic grapes, what on earth does it need to be organic? By the way, uh, made in Mendocino County. So I think this is actually our first Mendocino County Zinfandel, Courtney. Um, Your guess is better than mine. Better than yours. Okay, I'm going to say yes it is. Now, that all being said, boop, put you over there. So I decided that organic, um, to do a little research and instead of me doing this complete, uh, so this says with made with organic grapes. So what exactly does that mean? Well, according to the interwebs, wines that say made with organic grapes have different requirements than the ones that are made with organic wine. When a wine is labeled as being made with organic grapes, 100% of the grapes must be certified organic. Yeast and other um, agricultural ingredients aren't required to be organic, but have to be produced without excluded methods like genetic engineering. As for non-agricultural ingredients, these have to be specifically allowed on the national list of that which is verifiable. Uh, finally, sulfide may be added to the wines that carry the made with organic grapes uh, label up to 100 parts per million. Now, sulfites, um, lots of confusion on those. They're not bad, if anything. Uh, they make wine typically taste a lot better anyway. Um, and generally speaking, they probably won't give you a headache unless, of course, you already get headaches from eating, say, dried fruit, which has more sulfites, or uh, drinking pop or soda, however you want to call it. Um, so, soda, soda pop pop soda jerk anyway um so what we got courtney coming in at the last oh just some steamed broccoli steamed broccoli because we got to get that veg in there somehow so anyways bonterra organic zinfandel again organic wines may or may not mean the same thing um so do some research before purchasing a bottle or if you're like me and you just want to try a zinfandel that's organic and don't really care about the definition behind it uh, give it a go. All right, so this is Mark, your medicine cork dork. I am out.